welcome to lecture 7 which is on stereo pair and stereo vision. In fact, we are using now the capabilities in this lecture, we are using the capabilities of the overlap which is present in the aerial photograph and to create the stereo vision and understand why that stereo vision is required. So, let us begin the lecture. Individual photographs they will be good when we are doing some planimetric kind of a mapping and determining the distance and all that. But looking at the three dimensional aspect of the earth surface is a very fascinating area and we can determine the height of different features using stereo photogrammetry. We are going to learn here that how we can use those photographs together which have the overlap region and create a 3D model. And also we can determine the height of the terrain, so that we know the terrain relief. Once we know the terrain ups and downs, then we can find out the relief displacement also very easily. 3D visualization is uh, another very important area when we are using computer vision techniques. So, we can actually create for any terrain we can create a 3D model and find out ups and downs find out the slope of the terrain because in many of the civil engineering projects we need to know uh, where the flat terrain is because that is the area which is more demanding from the project point of view. We need to know where is the area where with less vegetation cover. So, how to create those stereo images from the two camera positions. So, here you can see that these are the two camera position one is R and another is T. So, from two camera positions when you are capturing the image of the ground you have the overlap between the two images. So, I have one object here P another object Q. If I take the image of P and Q they are in a line with the camera. So, the images might overlap together, but if I am taking it from a another position the same objects I photograph I will get their images displayed. So, because of that parallax which I have introduced by changing the position of the camera, I am able to generate a stereo model. So, I need a stereo images which have the parallax present in that. That means, taken from two different camera position and we are using the principle of triangulation. It is a very popular principle in surveying when we are taking the measurements. then angular measurements and the distance measurement and we are determining the coordinates at the end. But we are using same thing here principle of triangulation actually to determine the coordinates of the point which is common in both the photographs. So, this is carried out uh, using the capabilities of the instruments or capabilities of the software. So, the goal of the stereo vision is that we can create a 3D structure from two or more images of the area and each should be acquired from a different point. So, here you can see that the left image is taken from a different point and the right image is taken from a different point and we are creating now the binocular vision. When we look at those two images with our eye left eye and the right eye, these two images are fusing together in the mind and creating a 3D model. So, from individual 2D images, 2D photographs left photograph and the right photograph, we are creating a 3D model fusing these two together. 
Now, for creating the stereo model, we can have more than two images also. So, in this you can see diagram, there is one point, there is second point and there is a third point. So, from three different locations of the camera, the images are taken from the same object. So, the object is same, but from three different locations. So, relief is present and I can use these three images together overlap portion to create a 3D model and then subsequently carry out the measurements. There are some technical terms before we proceed, we have to understand that. So, one is the stereo pair which is the basic requirement to study the terrain in third dimension. What is the stereo pair? If I take two successive photographs with some overlap. So, here 60 percent is the minimum overlap. So, 60 percent or more forward overlap when we are taking those images are known as a stereo pair. So, it is shown in the diagram here also the aircraft is flying and at O1 point and O2 point it has taken the two images and there is a overlap. So, this in overlap region we can create a 3D model this is called a stereo pair and this is first requirement to create a stereo model. Then the second is the stereo vision is the requirement. So, let us understand that what we are doing is we are looking at those two images we have two eyes left image will look at the left eye and the right image will look at the right eye. So, we need a kind of a stereo vision to see the 3 D model to understand the depth perception. So, here in this diagram also you can see a person is viewing actually the two images fusing that together in the mind. So, these two images will enter into the retina and fuse together in the mind and the mind will read that this particular object is uh, a pyramid or the particular object is a tree or a building things like that. So, when we are viewing the two objects simultaneously one with our left eye another is our right eye the fusion or blending of this two images it is taking place in our brain. So, you need a certain experience you need certain practice in fact in order to fuse these two images. So, that now you can have the depth perception you can feel that which particular object is higher and which is at a lower height. So, once you have a stereo vision, once you have the stereo pair, you can create a stereo model, a stereoscopic model. So, in the overlap region, you are creating the stereo model. You can see in this diagram also here, one image and the second image, this is the ground and this is the 3D model which has been created for the overlap region. So, you create a some kind of a a stereo model from those two photographs a stereo pair which you have. Now, you need one more thing which is a device called a stereoscope. So, a stereoscope is one of the devices, but there could be many such devices which are required to create a 3D model. So, a stereoscope is required to create a stereo vision because our eye can mix up those vision there could be a cross vision also my left eye might see the right photograph and the right eye might see the left photograph. So, in order to streamline the vision we need a device. So, here the device is known as the stereoscope. So, here the person is looking through the stereoscope on the two photographs left photo right photo and creating a 3D model by fusing those images together. So, we have to understand uh, the working of the stereoscope the role of the stereoscope in creating the 3D model. But let us understand the stereoscopy which is created uh, by our eye human eyes because they are playing very very important role when it comes to the stereo vision or a stereo model. So, 
we have to feel the depth. So, there are two images one is in the left eye another in the right eye and these two images are focused here this is my focal point retina. So, this light or rays are entering from the object from the left photograph to my left eye and the right photograph to my right eye and they are focused at the uh, retina point and then these rays are sent to my mind and the mind will do the fusion and the blending of that and try to understand what kind of object is this try to make the interpretation. So, interpretation is done by that mind. So, here the human eye is playing very very important role and due to that now once this 3D model is created once the stereo vision is created you can feel the depth. So, human eye in normal circumstances also can feel the depth. So, this diagram shows that uh, a tree is uh, uh, further away and the another one is the closer one. So, depth perception is because of the uh, two eyes which are separated by a distance and the images have that parallax when they are entering into the eye. So, here when we are talking of the aerial photographs. So, this diagram here shows that the person is looking at the uh, left image as well as the right image and try to create a 3D model of the area in the overlap region. And then we can carry out certain measurements. So, that we know from that 3D model we know what is the height of the terrain at those points. So, let us see when we are looking at a part particular object two images are meeting at a single point. So, I have the angle which is formed and that is called actually the parallactic angle. So, this is my left eye and this is my right eye and this is eye base the distance between the two eyes is eye base which is normally 6 to 7 centimeter. So, these two eyes when they are looking at the two objects and the rays are meeting at a single point. Let us say A is my object B is my another object and they are separated by a distance I can feel the depth perception when I create a 3D model. So, there is a certain angle this particular angle phi A angle by object A is called parallactic angle object which is away from me B object there is another angle which is made at my eye which is phi B angle and the phi B angle is a smaller than phi A angle. So, the farther is the object is smaller is the parallactic angle or angle of convergence there is a relationship it is simply a geometrical figure we can see the eye base which is 6 to 7 centimeter there is object A there is object B. So, we have let us say D A is the distance of object A and D B is the distance of object B which is away from our eye we can create some kind of a relationship from this figure and this is tangent phi A by 2 if I take for example, a triangle like this. I can create a relationship I can generate this relationship tangent phi by 2 is equal to b upon twice of d a relationship or d a will be b by 2 cot phi a upon 2. So, there is a relationship between the parallactic angle which is made or angle of convergence which is made at our eyes by any object and a distance that we can actually calculate from here if we know one parameter we can calculate the other parameter. So, human eye is it is understood that we can feel the depth perception very accurately or judgment up to 400 meter beyond 400 meter uh, the judgment may not be accurate this is understood. Now, let us understand that how our eyes and our brain is working 
when we are looking at the images. So, we are seeing the two images now from the left eye and the right eye, this is the left image, this is the right image, both are two dimensional image. So, these two dimensional images, the rays will enter into our eye, focus on the retina and will go to the brain. So, this is the brain part of the human body and in the brain now starts working fuse and brain would like to uh, carry out some kind of a intelligent and meaningful uh, decision output. What is that object? What is the color of the object? What is the size of the object? How far roughly the object is? So, brain will now try to carry out all that uh, interpretation from the 3D model which has been created and brain will also do the number of other things exercises like color. It will identify what color object is that what is the shape of the object, what is the size, what is the pattern, what is the texture of the object and location of the object. So, not only the, ob the uh, not only about the object, the identity of the object, but other parameters also color, shape, size, pattern, texture and location. So, this all will be identified and depth perception will be done once the image is fused into the human brain. So, this is left image, this is right image and this is that 3D image which has been fused. Now, the brain is doing its own work and this everything is so quick. The decision comes very, very fast uh, about that particular object. Now, you have two images for example, here left image and the right image of statue. Can you fuse these images with your eyes? Yes, you can. Experience interpreter will not require any device. They will look at these two images, will not have the cross vision and try to fuse these images and can get the 3D model. So, instead of seeing the two separate images, they can see one single image here. So, it is possible actually to do that. But this is just one exercise, very old exercise that without any device, without any stereoscopes, you have to do that exercise, keep your uh, index fingers and keep it at a distance away. And when you are looking the left finger with the left eye and the right finger with the right eye and you are bringing them closer and also changing the distance. So, at a certain point when you are focusing it, when you are concentrating on the left image and the right image with the left eye and the right eye respectively, you will find that these tips of these two finger they are meeting together. Whereas, actually they are not meeting, they are still separated by a distance. So, this is a very, very popular exercise to understand how our eyes are working and fusing the left image and the right image. So, without a stereoscope also we can have that kind of a feeling, we can see the two images are merging together, whereas actually they are still not touching, they are separated by a distance. So, that exercise will give us further clue that if we look at the two images without a stereoscope, without any instrument, whether we can see 3D model or not. So, there are very popular stereograms are there. Stereograms are nothing but the two images with overlap region and they are actually put closer to each other. So, we can see there is a left image here, there is a right image here and they are put closer to each other, they have the overlap region and if I keep these two images in front of my eyes and keep on changing the distance and focus the left image with the left eye and the right image with the right eye, after some time I will not see two images, I will see one single image because both are fused together in my mind and now 
I can see 3D model also. It will give me the effect of 3D model. So, instead of seeing 2D photographs, now I can see ups and downs in the area without any instrument. But many people what they do is they separate it out also. They take a card sheet, separate it out with a card sheet and now try to focus the left image with the left eye and the right image with the right eye because sometimes we may have a cross vision. So, if we have the cross vision, we will not be able to see a good 3D model. So, if you put a card sheet then without any instrument focusing on the respective image one can generate a 3D model. So, this is also a stereogram of a river left side and right side again you put a card sheet and focus you can see a 3D model from these stereograms. This is a stereogram of the satellite image, right image and the left image. Now, there are certain requirements to create a stereoscopic vision. So, these requirements should be fulfilled, they should be met, only then you can create stereo model. So, let us look at them. The first one is the overlap, there should be minimum 60 percent overlap because uh, we have to find out the principal point of the adjacent photograph onto the next photograph. So, we require minimum 60 percent forward overlap. Without overlap, you cannot create a 3D model. Time of exposure of both the photograph should be nearly same. So, if one photograph is taken in one different season, another overlapping photograph has been taken in another season then it is difficult because of the contrast because of the land use which is so time of exposure must be nearly same to create a 3d model scale should be same that means they should have been taken from the same flying height or same distance from the object the brightness of the photograph should be similar because sometimes if one photograph is dark and another is bright then it will have difficulty in merging or fusing the details together. Very important condition is parallax must be present in the stereo pair. So, parallax has to be introduced. So, when the aircraft is moving, it is taking the pictures from different exposure station. So, already because the camera has moved while taking the images parallax is introduced. So, parallax must be introduced either you move the object or you move the camera. So, parallax will be automatically introduced and base to height ratio should be 0 0.25 to 2.0. Base is the air base and this is the height of the aircraft. So, that also has to be seen for a better exaggeration of the heights. Now, when we are taking a stereo pair with 60 percent or more overlap which is our basic requirement to create a 3D model. So, that means only a single camera can be used to, to take uh, two overlapping photographs, but the camera is required to be placed at two different positions. So, if you are taking the image of an object then you are uh, taking the image from two different positions. So, two overlapping photographs are taken from one single position of the camera then what you can do is you can use the stereo metric camera. So, this is a stereo metric camera. So, in the stereo metric camera instead of moving a camera by after taking one photograph moving it to another place now you do not have to move the camera. The there are two cameras which are fitted here on the horizontal road and these two cameras will simultaneously operate and will take the images of the area. So, you get simultaneously two images of the area. So, there are many application of it like this is the landslide, how much mass of the landslide has been moved that 3D model you can create and find out. There are special vehicles for that you mount a stereometric camera on the vehicle and move the vehicle and collect large amount of stereo pairs in the shortest possible time. There are then 360 degree cameras are also there. You can mount those 360 degree cameras if you want to have the panoramic view and you create the mosaic of the area. So, then you can 
uh, generate the 3D views. So, you can uh, use a stereoscopic process and then you can use the equipment like a stereoscope or there are some sophisticated equipment. There are digital photogrammetric systems available through which now you can create a 3D model once you have a proper stereo pair. So, this is all about this lecture. Thank you.